Behind you, Brian, at yeah. first alert radar is again, Everything's happening to the east of town? Yeah, there's Overland Park, there's Olathe, just to get your bearings. Here's State Line, as we were talking about. Nick started the ball rolling it, saying it was mainly going to be east and southeast of the metro itself. And here's the cell, and we've been tracking it for at least the first portion of this newscast, moving out of Cass County, and now moving into adjoining Johnson County on the Missouri side. This is now a new severe thunderstorm warning. So as we said no, about five minutes ago, first alert going out for Holden, Missouri. This thing has the potential of producing 60 mile an hour winds, maybe a little bit of hail, but it's part of a, a broken line that's going to stay mainly east of the metro. So again, if you haven't had any rain, you're probably not going to get any. However, farther downstream, I think that you're going to have a pretty good chance. Anything east, like towards Sedalia, toward Marshall, this line's going to be heading toward you. It does not look like it's going to be a solid line, but we are going to look for these individual cells to still pop and move to the east at about 30 miles an hour. Kansas side, you're going to be totally clear, but once again, on the Missouri side, that's where we see our better chances for the showers and thunderstorms to move through. Here it is in replay mode. Small area, as you notice here, is just that one cell along that line, which is producing the severe thunderstorm warnings that are out. This new one until 645 for Johnson County on the Missouri side. Severe thunderstorm watch stays in effect until midnight, but I bet you we're going to be cleared of those counties underneath that long before midnight, at least in the metropolitan area or in the viewing region itself. First alert future scan doing a pretty good job of saying when it's going to form and where it's going to move. Even by eight o'clock, it looks like it'll be clearing our region altogether, but still marching its way toward Columbia and Jefferson City. So they're going to have to worry about that probably toward midnight or so. Here's a look at the city view camera as we see here 90 degrees with a heat index of 91. An indication that the cooler and drier air is trying to move in. Ahead of it, though, still hot and humid. Sedalia at 96, Atchison at 88. Heat index also coming down the scale out there, but still triple digits ahead of it, and that's why these thunderstorms are pretty strong. 84 with that chance of thunderstorms east of the city, cooling down pretty rapidly into the 70s later on tonight. Low temperatures by tomorrow morning, getting all the way down to 62 for Kansas City, 61 for St. Joe. Our by hour forecast on your Wednesday has a high temperature struggling to get to 82 degrees and that will last into Chiefs Thursday as well. Kickoff temperature 81 by the time you're heading home, hopefully with a victory, cool and dry in about 70 degrees as the lines come to town. Here's a look at the exclusive first load nine day forecast going for 82 the high temperature and looking good for not only the current but also for the Royals. As mentioned, looks good on Thursday, 61 to 85 on Friday. Saturday, the trend is to keep it in the 50s in the morning, afternoon high of 84. 85 on Sunday, slight chance of a shower, also lingering into Sunday as well, with a high temperature still staying in the 80s. Another push of cooler air pushes us back down to highs in the 70s, lows in the 50s and 60s, but still a risk of a few showers and thunderstorms. Lens Upward Sports coming up.